Hi guys! So today we are going to be doing my vinyl collection update for February of 2021. I typically like to wait to do these videos until I have a lot of records, but it's really spaced out for the releases this year already and I don't really see myself accumulating a lot more records within the next one to maybe even two months. So I figured I might as well film what I already have here. Some of this stuff has been in unboxing, so you guys may have already seen it on the channel. And there are a lot of duplicate records, so that means same album, just different pressing colors. Um, there's only 18 records. 18 records is a lot to some people, and it's very minimal to others. It's very hard to tell within the record community. Um, if you guys want to know anything about my setup or my collection, how I store things, how I protect my vinyl, please be sure to check out my Vinyl 101 video where you can see everything in that video. My whole entire audio setup is Audio Technica for anybody that's wondering. And the majority of my collection is behind me here. So these are just records that I am adding to my collection that I've accumulated in the past few months. This is not my entire record collection. So I think that's everything. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. I only have three seven inch records, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys those first. The first one we have here is What They'll Say About Us by Phineas. I saw this in a record store. I thought that it was really awesome that they had it there. Obviously wanted to support the small business. So I picked it up there. I think it was $12, which is around what it retails for online, if not a little bit cheaper maybe. But it did already come in a sleeve, which is super nice. Um, and it was already opened, but I did check on it and it's not scratched or anything, so maybe this is just how they received it. And all it has is that single and then the instrumental variant of that single. And it's really nice because it's in this anti-static little inner sleeve, which is great for me to be able to show you guys the actual pressing. It's this really pretty gray and white kind of smoked out vinyl. This side's super weird looking because it's like solid here, but it looks the best on this side. If you guys can see there. And I think that the centering looks fantastic with the pressing that they chose for this, so super excited to have this. This is my first Phineas vinyl that I am adding to my collection. And actually, I could just go ahead and add it to my 7 inches. We have- oh, I didn't realize that these were different covers. It's flipped around. Oh, I'm definitely not selling one of these now. Okay. Um. All right, I'm flabbergasted. I have Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles. This is the black variant. So it is just pressed on standard black and it has a watermelon in the middle. And then on this side, it has the outer watermelon. And then these did come with reprinted little Polaroids. So I've actually kept mine in the little baggie here. So the cover for this one looks like this. And then the back of it is him holding up watermelon super cool i ordered this one and then i think a few days later they dropped the red pressing which as you guys can see the covers have been switched so the fronts look like this and then the backs look like this and i know that they're already pretty sought after because the seven inches are really limited that harry puts out this is what the red one looks like it's this really pretty transparent red super nice also i do get a lot of a lot of comments where people think that i'm touching the grooves of the vinyl there's actually this little lip here that's not a groove and typically i place my needle manually so it won't touch this part um, but I grab it right there. I pinch it. It's so hard to show you guys But I think it looks like my finger pads are touching it because of how long my nails are But I'm actually just touching it with like the the I don't know what you would call this of my thumb and my index finger my hand just cramped, but That's how I touch it. I'm not actually touching the groove at all with my fingers but I get a lot of comments where people think that I am so yeah, I typically grab it like this, so my my front finger isn't actually touching the vinyl, as you guys can see there. But it looks like it is because of how long my nail is. I get it. And this one also came with little Polaroids. 
I don't know if they're the same or if they're different, but I know that the one that you can see is different from the last one. I also got Super Bloom from Ashton Irwin, his debut solo project, Away From Five Seconds of Summer. And I think I've only listened to this maybe once or twice. I honestly don't really remember that much of it. I know I reacted to Skinny Skinny, and I thought that that was a pretty good debut song for him to put out. But I think I'm to blame. Have you found what you're looking for? If I can remember correctly, are my two favorites off of this project. I absolutely love how this album looks. I love the aesthetic that he went for. I think that it is absolutely beautiful. I think he did such a good job with it. And this one's really cool because it does come with a book, like a little booklet here. And it's just the little things like this that really make me happy, but it's got um, pictures in it collages as well as all the lyrics so it's like a lyric book i think this was so extra and i'm really happy that he did this i love it when records come with something bonus like that it just really makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside and then the outer sleeve for the record is also covered in doodles and the pressing on this is really really nice i loved the color that he chose for this. I think it's beautiful. It almost looks like a glow-in-the-dark vinyl. Thank god it's not though because those are absolutely horrendous. But it's this really really pretty like pastel minty green. I don't know how to explain it. It's not super see-through or anything but I think that it's a really nice pressing and obviously it goes with the aesthetic of the album super super well. I'm not sure if it's still available or not. I think it probably is if you guys were interested. Then <laughs> we have Limbo which is Amine's newest release and I am obsessed with this album. I think it is freaking fantastic. Um, I had a lot of issues getting this record. I ordered it off his merch site and I was so pissed because I paid I think $35 or $40 for it and it was advertised as standard black and then I saw that there was an exclusive green pressing at Urban Outfitters and I think Target as well. It was $18 at Target and it was like $20 at Urban Outfitters and I was like, are you kidding me? I spent like 30 or 40, I literally can't remember, dollars on a black pressing when I could have gotten a green one, which I thought made the most sense because of this, it would have been so cool. I just opened this um, a few days ago and I'm so happy that I never ordered the green one because I wanted it so bad but I was like I literally spent so much money on this one I'm not doing it because I didn't end up getting the black one maybe they just scrapped that and made all of them be the standard pressing green or something because this one is green and I freaked out out. I was so excited that this was actually green and not a freaking black pressing because I think that it goes with the album so so well and I'm just so happy that it's actually the green pressing. I'm also again super happy that I didn't try to buy it when I already had it. I just had no idea but I just love this. It is beautiful. It is fantastic. My receipt says black so I'm not exactly sure what happened love the artwork for this amazing amazing album if you guys have not listened to it highly recommend love the inner part of it as well my favorite songs are woodlawn obviously um but i also love pressure in my palms it has been staples in it it is beautiful it is fantastic highly 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 recommend it can't decide and riri are also really good the deluxe version of this album is also really good. I would just recommend that you guys check this out if you haven't already. This was advertised on my Facebook feed for the longest time and I couldn't understand why so I eventually listened to it and I am so happy that I did because it's literally one of my favorite projects that released last year. Getting into some records that you guys may have already seen on the channel, I got both pressings of Demi Devil from Ash Nico. This is her newest mixtape release. I'm super upset because I did order the limited picture disc. I did get it from the UK shop because it was sold out on the US shop and I paid extra. I paid 15 euros for sh tracked shipping when regular shipping was like 5 euros I think. 
So super upset because they shipped it regular, non-tracked. I emailed them about it. They refunded me the shipping cost and I was really upset because I wouldn't have ordered it if I wasn't going to get the shipped tracking because I don't really like ordering internationally if I can't track it. I will always pay the extra to be able to track it because then if it gets lost, they can track it and see that it gets lost and it's not on me and I'm not trying to scam anybody and say like, oh, I didn't get it, but I did. So anyway, it's been over 25 days. It has not shown up and I emailed them and they pretty much told me to contact my post office and see if they were holding it, which they're not. And other than that, they have record that it shipped and that's all that they can do. So basically, right now I'm out like $45 and there's nothing that can be done about it. And I'm just like, huh? <laughs> But I did get these. I got these off the US shop. They arrived eventually. There was a little bit of a delay, but they still showed up. We had the merch store exclusive clear pressing, which is one of the clearest pressings I have ever seen. Like literally this, this is beautiful. I love this pressing. I love clear pressings. I've said it once, I'll say it again. They're like my favorite vinyl pressing ever. I love them. And then the standard pressing, was released as blue. So if you got this from any other retailer or record store, it would always be blue. So I was super excited that she decided to do that. I think it's beautiful. Obviously it matches the cover. I think it looks great and I'm super happy that I have both versions. Here we have Post Human Survival Horror by Bring Me the Horizon. I got the big bundle that was like the CD, the three cassettes, the record, the autographed card, and I think that's it. Um, my favorite songs on here are Parasite Eve, One by One is super, super good, um, and then obviously Obey and Teardrops are really good as well. Lots of really good features on here. I think they did a really good job with this. I think it's a small project, but that it's really good. Um, I love the artwork for this. Happy to have this and add it to the collection. I don't know if this was released anywhere else. Um, this was on their merch site, and all their merch does come from the UK, but I got this just fine. So I don't know what's going on with Ash Nico's merch site and why I can't get that. But and then this just has all the producer information, writer's information, everything like that. And it is pressed on standard black. I haven't looked at this one actually yet. It's one of the ones that I just got in, but it is standard black, so I'm not going to take it out or anything. This, I think, is my only Urban Outfitters exclusive that I've picked up, which is really crazy because I usually get a lot from there, but it is Wallows OK. Um, it's just the single. Their singles are pretty expensive, but I recently found out that they release a lot of 12-inch singles at the end of the year. Cool. I love the picture that's in the middle. I think that's beautiful. And it is pressed on this really nice opaque red vinyl. I think it complements the cover super well. I think it's really cool. I don't own too many 12 inch singles. I definitely own more than a few, but it's not something that I particularly pick up. I would have obviously preferred if this was a seven inch. Yeah, I think I have all of them. So I had to pick this one up just to keep it complete. They're not one that I intend to have 100% complete, but since it already is, I guess I might as well keep up with it. This is a little more underground or underrated record. This is Girlfriends, and it's interesting. Uh, there's 14 songs on this. Uh, I think the artwork is a little cheesy, but it's cool. I mean, you can obviously tell that it's like photoshopped, but... I guess it's cool looking. It's it's interesting to say the least. It's definitely not bad. I think they have some really good songs, but it's just a little unexpected and I feel like it's a little too late, but I love it still. Um, the main reason why I picked this up was because it was autographed and girlfriends consist of two men. I don't know the other guy's name. I'm so sorry, but the only reason why I know about it is because it has T Mills, aka Travis Mills. Um, I loved him when I was younger. I was obsessed with him. I thought that he was the best. I love seeing him like guest star in certain things. Um, like he was in The Girls. What is that show called? Is it called The Girls? He was in there as like a bad guy and I freaked out. I was so excited and um, I just love him so much and obviously he 
age has done him well. So when I saw that you could get this autographed, I was like, I just need to have this for nostalgia and because I still fangirl over him. So I was just so excited that they dropped this. This was super limited. I don't remember how limited, but... And this one is also pressed on clear vinyl, which again, I think was a wonderful choice. I'm so happy that they did that. Next up, we have my two versions of No Pressure. I have the regular standard cover as well as the ah, alternative cover. Really disappointed that this one wasn't kept in the merch shop and he actually gave the rights to it or sold it to Urban Outfitters, so you can still get this at Urban Outfitters. My Wajik collection is 100% complete. I do also have some bootlegs, but I have everything that was officially released, so I had to get both versions to keep it 100%. I think the inside of this one is stunning. Actually, I am going to do a giveaway in this video because I haven't been able to really give away all the Logic stuff that I bought to give away, so I might as well just do one in this video. I literally bought four of these, I think. Maybe three. I don't remember. I just saw it and I can't remember of these to give away. So we're going to go ahead and do a giveaway in this video. If you guys want to go ahead and win a No Pressure vinyl, still sealed, never opened, brand new, it will be shipped media mail, which means it can take seven to 10 business days to arrive. So it's a little bit slower than if I shipped it prioritively. I'll send it to you. I'll include some stickers and some uh, business cards and I'll sign you a little note and you guys will get this in the mail for free. All you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below anything you want, as long as it has the word logic in it. I'm gonna type that in as like the word and it's gonna separate all the comments. So that way, if you guys don't want to enter and you just want to leave a regular comment, you won't be entered. Just make sure you include the word logic in your comment. It could even just say logic and then be sure to include your Twitter or your Instagram handle in your comment. Otherwise, I won't be able to reach you because I can't reach you on YouTube. YouTube's really picky about giveaways. Um, so if you don't include your handle, I won't be able to contact you and I'll have to pick another winner. Just make sure that you include your handle so I can reach out to you. So this will unfortunately be a US only giveaway and it'll end in one week from when this video is uploaded. My friend Jasmine sent me a package for Christmas and she included this awesome lenticular collector's edition cover version of Into the Spider-Verse soundtrack. Super excited about this. I love this soundtrack so, so much. I listen to it all the time, especially when I'm playing games. What's Up Danger is so good. Way Up is so good. Amine is on here. His song Invincible is on here. It's also really good. Elevate, that one's amazing because it has Denzel Curry on it and it has YBN Corday, like... Okay, need I say any more? They literally did the best job with the soundtrack. I love the soundtrack so much. I do own the picture disc, but it is framed, so she knew I love this so much, so I'm really happy that she was able to find it and give it to me because I listen to it all the time. It's one of my favorite records that I own, and I'm so happy that I have it because I just love it so much. It's so good inside, and it is just pressed on standard black. I was kind of hoping it would be red, but it's okay that it's black. <laughs> we have another version of Calm by Five Seconds of Summer. This is another thing that I have 100% complete where I own all the variants of all other albums. This is the plus one edition, so this actually has the bonus track Kill My Time pressed in it. Um, the other ones don't have that, so the Target Edition and then the Standard Edition don't have that, and the Merch Store Exclusive. None of those have that song on it. The only way to get it was through their limited merch release of the plus one version of the album. It's also pressed on a pink vinyl. Getting to the final stretch here, we only have four records left, and three of them are the same. But before we get to those, we have the After School EP by Melanie Martinez. I got this also off of her merch shop a while ago. I don't even remember when. But these are all the deluxe tracks on her K-12 through album. So if you got the deluxe version of that album that was released, that's technically the After School EP. They're the same songs. It only has seven songs on it. My favorite ones on here are The Bakery, Test Me and Notebook. I think that those are really phenomenal. I love the artwork that she did for this. 
I'm so happy that she actually released this on vinyl. I also love the inside of this because it has little clouds on the inside. I thought that that was so unique and so cute. It is on a blue insert. And then it is also pressed on this really pretty baby blue vinyl. I don't think I own any vinyl that's pressed in this color. Lastly, we have all of my Shawn Mendes variants of Wonder. I have three of them. Yes, three of them. So the first one is not a gatefold, which is very interesting, but it is the Target edition. And this is pressed on gold vinyl. Interesting choice, interesting choice, but I do know that there was a silver variant on his merch shop, so I guess it makes a little bit more sense. Two of the three exclusives on his merch shop, he released three different variants, which I thought was so crazy, but honestly, commend him. And I'm happy that they all arrived because I had some stuff that never ended up showing up that got lost from his merch shop and I'm just so happy that I got the records. But there's this blue pressing which I really like because it's the same as my handwritten pressing. The clear pressing because as you guys know I'm a sucker for a good clear pressing. This is another really good clear pressing. It's the third clear pressing in this video so... And I do believe that this one was the first one to sell out on his merch site, so you can't get this one anymore. I'm not sure about the blue one, but... And the inside for this one is exactly the same as the other one. But that is officially all the records that I have picked up over the past few months. I'm really content with these, happy to go ahead and sleeve them up and add them to my collection here and put them away and be able to listen to them and enjoy them a little bit more now that they're out of this crate. If you guys want to see more vinyl videos, please be sure to subscribe or you guys can go ahead and check out my vinyl records playlist. All of my record collection updates are in there, any unboxings, any videos that I do on my records in general is all in that playlist. If you guys want to go ahead and catch up and binge watch a bunch of videos, you guys can go ahead and check that out. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.